Samsung might be launching a more affordable foldable phone soon. The company is reportedly working on a budget-friendly version of its popular Z Flip lineup, possibly called the Galaxy Z Flip FE. A recent leak suggests that this new device will share many features with the Galaxy Z Flip 6, making it an exciting option for those who want a foldable phone without spending too much. According to Tipster at Panda Flash Pro, the Galaxy Z Flip FE will have the same display as the Galaxy Z Flip 6. However, there could be a difference in brightness levels, as reports suggest it may be limited to 1,900 nits. The foldable screen will likely retain the ultra-thin glass technology used in the Z Flip 6 for durability. Samsung might also use the same flat armor aluminum frame, hinge, and Gorilla Glass Victus protection, which should keep the device sturdy and resistant to damage. Camera specs are expected to include a 50 megapixel primary sensor and a 10 megapixel selfie camera. If true, this would mark an improvement over previous base models in the Flip lineup, bringing better photography capabilities. Performance-wise, the phone is rumored to be powered by an Exynos processor, most likely the Exynos 2500. This is a ship from Samsung's usual strategy of using Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips for foldables, but it might help lower the cost while maintaining good performance. The phone could also support Wi-Fi 6E and 25 watt fast charging, making it competitive in terms of connectivity and charging speeds. The leak also suggests that the Galaxy Z Flip FE will come with water resistant ceiling stereo speakers and Samsung's ProVisual engine, which is used to enhance camera processing. It will likely run Android 15 with one UI 7X out of the box, similar to what's expected for the Galaxy Z Flip 7 and Galaxy Z Fold 7. However, due to the limitations of its neural processing unit, some Galaxy AI features might be missing. AI-driven tools like live translations and advanced photo enhancements may not work as well or could be entirely absent from this model. Aside from the screen's peak brightness and the uncertainty around its IP rating for water and dust resistance, the Flip FE appears to be very similar to the Galaxy Z Flip 6. This raises an important question. How much will Samsung price it? The phone is rumored to be launching in August, alongside the Galaxy Z Flip 7 and the Galaxy Z Fold 7, but there's no confirmed pricing information yet. Since this model is meant to be a budget-friendly foldable, Samsung will likely position it below the standard Flip 7. A lower-cost foldable could be a great move for Samsung, especially as competition in the foldable phone market continues to grow. Brands like Oppo, Huawei, and Motorola are bringing new innovations to their foldable devices, and making the Z Flip series more accessible could help Samsung maintain its dominance. If Samsung can strike the right balance between price and features, the Galaxy Z Flip FE could become a popular choice for users looking to enter the foldable world without paying premium prices. Would you consider buying the Galaxy Z Flip FE if the price is right? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates on the latest in tech. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Is Samsung really removing the S Pen from the Galaxy Z Fold 7? Or is there hope for fans of the stylus? There's been a lot of concern that Samsung might ditch S Pen support for the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 7. Some leaks suggested that Samsung was focusing on making the device slimmer, possibly at the cost of removing the S Pen. Others speculated that the Fold 7 could be based on the rumored Z Fold Southeast, a lower cost version that might not support the stylus. But now a new rumor is giving S Pen fans a reason to breathe easy. A sister named Panda Flash, who has been sharing details about upcoming foldables, claims that Samsung is actually working on a new S Pen, one designed specifically for the Fold 7. That's right, instead of removing S Pen support, Samsung may be introducing a new version of the stylus. However, there's a catch. According to the leak, this new S Pen may not be compatible with older Galaxy Z Fold models. This could mean changes in design, functionality, or even new features that require upgraded hardware. The tipster also mentions that the S Pen might come with a new tip, possibly for a smoother writing experience. What we don't know yet is whether the stylus will be upgraded or downgraded. Recently, Samsung made changes to the Galaxy S25 Ultra's S Pen, and not everyone was happy about them. If Samsung is working on a new version for the Fold 7, it will be interesting to see how it compares to previous models. The lead also mentions that production for this new S Pen is expected to start in June. That timeline makes sense, considering Samsung typically launches its foldable devices in the summer, likely in July or August. So what else can we expect for the Galaxy Z Fold 7? Based on leaks so far, the device might not bring massive upgrades, but Samsung is focusing on refining the foldable experience. There are rumors about a redesigned hinge and a less visible crease on the display, which could improve durability and the overall feel of the phone. The main camera is also expected to be upgraded, though details on that are still unclear.
Under the hood, the Fold 7 is likely to feature the powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. Some rumors suggest that Samsung might use its own Exynos chip in certain regions, but many expect Qualcomm to remain the main choice. In terms of pricing, there's no indication of a price drop, meaning the Fold 7 will probably cost the same as last year's model. The biggest challenge for Samsung this year might not be the upgrades, but the competition. Foldable phones are getting better, and other brands are pushing the limits. The Oppo Find 5 is expected to be slimmer and lighter, the Pixel 10 Pro Fold is on the way, and Huawei is even experimenting with tri-fold designs. With all this competition, Samsung's decision to focus on refinements rather than major changes could go either way. So what do you think? If the Galaxy Z Fold 7 keeps S Pen support, would that make it a better buy for you? Or are you looking for bigger changes? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Is the Pixel 9a about to take the title of the best budget phone of 2025? With new high quality renders leaked online, me now have the clearest look yet at Google's upcoming mid-range smartphone. And from what we can see, Google is making some noticeable changes to its design, display, and battery life. But is it enough to beat the competition? Google has never been great at keeping secrets, and this time, leaks have revealed almost everything about the Pixel 9a before its official launch. Reports suggest the phone will be announced on March 19 and will hit stores by March 26. Recently, Tipster at Sudhanshu 1414 shared watermark-free renders that showcase the device in four different colors, black, pink, gold, and blue. While these may not be the official marketing names, it's expected that Google will label them as Obsidian, Peony, Porcelain, and Iris. One of the biggest design changes is the shift from curved edges to a flatter, more modern look. Google seems to be taking inspiration from recent trends, making the phone look more premium despite being in the mid-range category. The color options are also worth noting. The blue shade is somewhat similar to the iPhone 16's Ultramarine, offering a cool and sleek tone. The pink is bright and playful, adding a fun touch to the lineup. Meanwhile, the porcelain color appears to be a warm white with gold accents on the frame, making it look elegant. And finally, the black version is a deep, rich black, not a dark gray, which has been overused in recent years. When it comes to the overall design, the Pixel 9a is taking a more minimalistic approach. It features a flat metal frame and has done away with the signature camera bar found in higher-end Pixel models. Instead, the phone has a piddle-shaped camera module housing two rear sensors. Despite these changes, it still looks unmistakably like a Google phone, which is a good thing. Many smartphone brands are starting to make devices that look too similar to one another, so it's nice to see Google maintaining its identity. Another design improvement is the symmetry of the bezels. The Pixel 8 had a slightly thicker bottom bezel, but with the Pixel 9a, Google is keeping the bezels uniform on all sides, which gives the phone a cleaner appearance. The right side of the phone houses the volume and power buttons, while the left side remains bare. The antenna lines are also visible along the frame, adding to its premium metal finish. Now let's talk about performance and hardware. According to leaks, the Pixel 9a will be powered by Google's Tensor G4 chip, an upgrade that should bring better performance and efficiency. It will also come with 8 GBs of RAM and offer storage options of either 128 GBs or 256 GBs. The display is rumored to be 6.28 inches, making it slightly larger than the Pixel 8a. On the camera side, the Pixel 9a is expected to have a 48 megapixel primary sensor and a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera. While this setup might not be a huge leap from its predecessor, Google's software enhancements could make a difference in image quality. Pixel devices are known for their excellent computational photography, so we can expect solid performance in that department. Battery life is another area where the Pixel 9a is getting a boost.